Hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Rooftop Sessions. I'm your host, Gilla, and today I want to talk about faith and ego. So faith would be characterized as that state of sort of self-surrender and humility, sort of like the universe is going to help me or things are out of my control or, you know, I can only do so much. And ego would be considered as self-effort and doership and identification and drive. So faith and ego are sort of two opposite forces that interact with each other in day-to-day life. A great practical example of this would be sports. In sports, we have to use our ego to put an effort to win the game or to win the match, right? To win, we have to use our ego. At the same time, there's so many things that are outside of our control. We can't control whether we get injured, what the other team is doing, whether there's an argument within the team or there's a weather condition which is affecting the game. We can't control any of these things. All we can control is our ability to translate our skill that we've built up to win the game or win the match, right? So sport is an example where you have to balance these two things. So another good example of this would be when you're submitting an assignment or a paper or a presentation to your boss or to your company or to your team. You have faith that it's going to translate. You you put in the effort with your ego. You put in the research, the energy required to complete the task and effectively prepare for this presentation or report. You put in that energy with the ego. And at the same time, you have to acknowledge that things are outside of your control. The presentation may not translate. It may be a little irrelevant. It may be missing some information, right? You have to be ready for feedback. And that's faith playing in, right? If you think your presentation is the greatest thing in the world and that nothing is wrong with it and nobody's going to change it, that's full ego. And that can be dangerous because then it leads to delusion. Ego can 100% lead to delusion. So that's something to be aware of. Whereas if you're completely in faith and you just sort of do something random, and you don't put that much thought and effort into it and say, oh, the universe is going to take care of everything. I'm just going to do whatever I want. I'm just going to throw together this presentation. That's another extreme. And that's dangerous because then your presentation may not translate at all. Um, it might be, you know, the worst thing presented at your company. But at the same time, there is a chance that it could go all well. But what the point I'm trying to make is that when you're totally all in in faith or you're totally all in ego, there's usually a problem. But when you balance these two forces together, then there's usually peace in that decision and the work flows. There's not much resistance. And that's the achievement. We're trying to get faith and ego to flow together, to work together. Basically, you're doing something, but you're not attached to the result. You're doing something, but you're acknowledging the fact that you only have so much control. You only have so much say over how things happen. There's so many things outside of our control. So in the act of balancing faith and ego, that's when we see results coming easily and we see results flowing. And I'm sure you've seen this in your life. You're doing something, but you're not attached to the result. You're just doing something for the sake of doing it. And then it becomes easy. Then it becomes enjoyable. The action itself is enjoyable. The result is extra. The result is great, but it's extra. The action itself becomes the object of pleasure, the object of passion and energy and experience. So very difficult. And many people learn through experience. Many people suffer the experience of going all in an ego. They suffer the experience of just standing back and doing nothing and saying, the universe is going to take care of me. Sometimes it might. I'm not saying it won't. Sometimes it does. But usually in many situations in my life, I've seen that you have to use a combination of both. I have to admit, I have seen people go all in in faith and it works out for them a lot. But there's definitely some situations where you have to sit down and think, what do I need to do? And what's the best way that I can do? So thank you for watching this video. My name is Gilla. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more of these rooftop conversations. Hit that like button if you like this video. And I'll catch you guys next time.